All right, don't mind if the background is a bit messy because I've just cleaned my house and the floor is still wet. I'm waiting for it to dry up before I put the things back on the ground. So excuse the messy place, but I wanted to make this video just to talk about how I stay consistent with everything that I'm doing while having a full-time job. And that's something that a lot of people are impressed by, even though I don't feel like it's anything special because everyone is working, everyone I mean, most of the people have a full-time job at least. And the reason they call it a full-time job is because it consumes all of your time. So you're not supposed to have any time left for anything else because it's full-time, right? Well, I've reached a point where my full-time job was consuming my life to the point where I wasn't doing anything else. I was just going to work, coming back home, eating, and then going to sleep. And I was doing this on repeat, on repeat day after day where for the first i mean for the first week when you first start this new job you might be excited because it's something new it's something that you are looking forward to you want to explore new opportunities and it's a new chapter in your life but soon after you realize that this is not a chapter in your life this is how your life is day after day and year after year and you're not feeling like you are evolving or doing any change because you are stuck in this full-time job well, let me tell you, there are things that you can do outside of your job. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that I have fell into because I thought that once I've clocked out of work, that was over for the day. That was everything that I had to do. I don't have any other responsibilities. I can come back home and chill and uh, do any activity to just take my mind off of work so I can come back and do it the next morning. And I don't want to deviate and talk about this escape the matrix bullshit that you see online because I honestly don't believe it. I honestly believe that having a full-time job is a really good thing. And let me tell you why. Well, first, you're going to have much more money in your hand. And if you know how to use your money wisely, you can use it in order to start building a sustainable source of income for yourself, whether it's something that you are trying to do on the side. If you are trying to maybe learn a new skill, you can use this money because money is power. You can use it in order to invest in yourself and learn skills that are going to help you evolve and grow. And that's the first thing that you can do. The second thing you can do is to have much more control over your time and look at your job in a way where all right, you have to go and work these eight hour shifts, whether you like it or not. Why not look at your life and at your free time in the same manner? For me personally, in my life, I feel like whenever I clock out of work, this is where the real work starts. This is where I'm much more motivated. So I give 100% at my job and I want to give even more outside of my job for the things that I truly care about and that I'm really passionate about. Whether it's getting in shape and going to the gym, to creating content, to learning how to edit better, to, for example, I got a mixer for the microphone and I've set it up. I've used the money that I've gained from my full-time job in order to buy assets for my YouTube channel. You see how you can start using this full-time job as a positive thing because you see opportunity, you see it as a chance in order to upgrade what you are doing on the side. And that's what is going to make you really fulfilled in life. You're no longer going to feel like you are trapped. I wake up every day looking forward to what I'm about to do when I clock out because I don't come back home and lay on the couch. I don't come back home and play video games anymore. I don't want to waste any minute without using it to its full potential. And I know I've been slacking off lately on the channel. I haven't uploaded in five days. That's because I was on vacation and I was taking my mind off of things. But now I'm back and I want to give it my all. I want to be creating as much content as I want. I want to be using my time in a really effective way. And I think that if you work a full-time job, you can really fast forward your progress. Because think about if you are broke, for example, if you don't have money, I'm not telling you that I'm rich or I'm super wealthy. No, I'm just an average regular everyday guy. I'm nothing special. I'm just someone that is trying to do more in life because I really see that there's potential in what I'm doing. That's why I've created this channel. But that's a topic for a different video. I want to get back and stay on what I'm talking about. In your job, you're not only going to get money, you're going to learn discipline. You see, that's the difference between a bad employee and a good employee and a great employee. If you want to aim to become a perfect person, you got to instill discipline in your life and start looking at your time as 
an asset for you. The worth of your time is much more valuable than the worth of money because your freedom is everything at the end of the day. You want to be able to build something for yourself. You no longer want to rely on one source of income, which is your full-time job, but you have to go through it in the beginning stages. And that's what I am doing right now. I am using my full-time job as a way to build something for myself. And I think everyone should do the same. You shouldn't look at your job as a dead road. This is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life because us people, we evolve throughout the years, throughout our experiences and everywhere that we go, we feel that we are growing, we are changing our ways, our habits and everything that we are interested in. And you can start discovering yourself more. And I really think that through a job, you're going to explore a lot of things in your life. You're going to, of course, learn skills. You're going to communicate with people much better. You're going to become much more confident about yourself because you know that you are giving it your all at your job and you want to become the best version of yourself possible. Let me give you the example of the weekend and how I used to look at it versus how I look at it right now. So the weekend is something that used to be my escape. I wanted to escape my full-time job. So I was counting the days for when Friday evening comes so I can go out with my friends and enjoy myself, take my mind off of things. And there's nothing wrong with wanting a break. But the weekend is just a part of your everyday life. It's nothing special. I no longer see it as the special event where I need to uh, maybe ruin my sleep schedule or stay up late and uh, wake up at noon, just waste my time. No, I would really enjoy the weekends. And then before I know it, Monday came and I had to go back to my job and I felt like a mouse that is trapped. But I no longer see the weekends that way. I still look forward for the weekends, don't get me wrong, but my entire perspective on the weekends have changed. It's about me surrounding myself with people that are like-minded so we can, for example, train together. We can create content together. We can start brainstorming and talking about deeper things that are going to have a huge return on the investment that we are putting in right now. Even though people will look at you in a way where you are wasting your time or they might tell you that what you are doing is delusional, but you actually see that there is potential in what you are doing and potential for growth. And once you believe in yourself, everything else is possible. And I really believe that if you take your attention and your focus and you put it on something meaningful on the weekends, you're going to feel that you are actually building something. You're going to feel that you are evolving in what you are trying to do if it's upgrading the quality of the work that you are putting in, if it's being on the same page with yourself and understanding your mind more, you can do all of these things that are going to push you to give even more in the next week. Because a lot of time I used to waste the weekend doing things that I would regret later. And I knew that I would regret later if it was getting drunk or uh, going out with bad people or just uh, wasting my time not doing anything that is going to give me a good return on the time that I'm putting in, I would just feel terrible and I would look at Monday in a way where I want to recover. I need some rest. I didn't rest on the weekends. But now I prioritize my well-being. I prioritize myself and I'm a bit I'm not a bit, I'm much more selfish with my time. I want to be putting it in something that I know is gonna bring me a return on what I'm putting in. And that's how you become a person that is much bigger than their full-time job. Your full-time job is just a part of your schedule. It no longer defines the person that you are. You know that you have many things that give you value other than just working and making money. Of course, it's a really important thing and it's a very crucial part for you in order to sustain yourself, especially if you are a person that doesn't rely on anyone else. I'm not telling you that you should quit your job, but don't make it your main priority and your number one focus. Work on it, give it your all, but know that outside of work, is gonna be much more work that you are gonna need to put on yourself in order to become fulfilled in life. And that's the purpose of our existence, I feel. You are really lucky if you make it to your 80s in this world. So why waste your time on things that don't bring you fulfillment and joy and not focus on what your heart truly wants? I really hope that you understand this message and you can start applying it in your own life and valuing your time and not letting your full-time job define you. So thanks for watching, man, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.